What's up people? Today I'm going to do a ukulele tutorial on Round Here by Counting Crows from August and Everything After, one of my favorite records of the 90s. Here we go. Starting out, let me get in a better view actually. This D sus4 chord is just like if you make a G chord and then you get rid of your second finger. Now, I didn't mention this is, as it's transcribed, this is in the key of the song, so you can play along with it and you'll be right right there with it. My notation up top, T and 2 and 1, is always for thumb, 1, 2, and this would be, your ring finger would be 3 if that came into play. So we're going to go... Going slowly, obviously, for the sake of demonstration, it's about that fast. Let's loop that sucker. For what it's worth, that's a great way to practice. If I weren't able to do that at speed yet, I could slow it down to some percentage and then gradually speed up. So that's your verse of that song. It's much of the song just doing. There you have it. So that's the A section, always with my transcription, just kind of eyeball for where the next letter is for when it changes. Short from, I suppose, there is a var variation here just at the end that you just let that A ring. Then we're at our chorus. Just holding a C. Down, 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 up. Down, down, up. Down, 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 up. Wait, down, down, up. That's your strum pattern for the first at least three chords of this chorus. So, one more time. C. Down, 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 up. Wait, down, down, up. To D. You could play this D either with a bar or with your first and second third if you can fit them or with your second third and fourth same rhythm down 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 up down down up then to E minor now when you get to this G at the end it's a little bit different you have that down up down down up down down up right from the start whole thing There's your whole chorus. That repeats, just notice the little variation at the very end of it. Same chord progression, everything else is the same, just the rhythm of the very, very end, just a little bit different. Then you're back to the verse, just like before. Back to the chorus, it's the same, it's just much longer. So notice this first ending on the G, same as this time, so it's just repeating verbatim. This time what's a little bit different is it doesn't go to the G at the end, it gives this little bridge. So you're going from an A to a D and I'm just I am playing the D I usually play D this way but I'm playing the D with two three and four here because then you can just go from this to that and it's an easy move and then you just play that open G there and for the X's you can actually try to get the strings or you can just kind of do a little hit you know it's really just about keeping the rhythm whatever you want to do, but really, I guess I'm mostly just doing, just bringing the side of my palm down and getting a little bit of a thud off of the top of the uke. And then I'm playing that, I should have notated, with my thumb right there. And then these I'm just playing all with my index finger, so that's just your down. 
like that. So then our like the the funky C section. Just playing your A again. Getting that little dead note stop in there. Down, up, stop, down, up, down, 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 up. Then the next measure you can see you're changing midway. I'm probably going to play the D, I would think, with a bar here. Yeah. Just got to work on that, that D ukulele bar where you bend your finger backwards and try and get the A string to be open. Which is a little tedious, so if you want, if your fingers are smaller than mine, you could certainly go... I just have trouble pulling that off, or you could go... However you want to play D. That's it, that's your repeating pattern. So I'll do it kind of slowly here. That's it. So it does that once, twice, three and a half times. So there's one, two, here's our three, and here's the and a half. So you start it over here, and then you have kind of another little bridge out of it from C to D. And again, you're just doing your little, and then a measure two, four there, so you're holding it. Wait. And you can, if you're ever curious about the wait time and you're not sure how to, how to count it, that's one of the great things about using this program. So it can feel like two, three, four, one, two, back to verse. Verse is the same. Next chorus is the same, just long. And here when we're getting out of this last chorus, we just have and then wait. The outro is the intro. It's your part. That's it, the very last one. And you're done. Relatively simple song, but beautiful. I hope you dig it. Thanks for checking out this tutorial. That's it.